Zach is back in action and today he has a workbench for everyone and this workbench will cost you only $100. Actually scratch that, not even $100. Zach promises this will cost you less than $100. Now if that isn't crazy, I do not know what is. This bench will be 10 feet long, 34 inches tall, and it will feature a place for a vise, a gigantic nine and a half foot work surface, a spacious bottom shelf for all your tools, and four, yep I said it, four deep drawers to stash all of your hardware. Are you salivating yet? Because if you're not, I don't know what else to tell you to get you on board with this project. You are simply beyond help if you aren't entranced by this. If you're not even a little bit tempted by now. Right now Zach is using plywood to bridge the front and back leg sets. These horizontal supports on the bench top will prevent things from slumping later on, providing some much needed security and stability. Be sure to use your mallet to hammer those into place. Now because we know this work surface is going to get beaten up over time, we aren't going to permanently anchor the plywood to the stretchers. We're going to use brad nails instead to hold everything together. And now that all of our work surfaces are accounted for, we can move on to making some drawers. We are cutting all of our sides to length using the table saw as well as drilling some convenient pocket holes for easy assembly. And because we love the table saw so much, we're going to use it to cut our plywood into the proper dimensions and get right down to assembling our drawer slides. We're going to be using some thin pieces of plywood in order to make these mounts. And in order to make our L pieces, we're going to drill some holes and countersink them so that the screws will be flush with the material. That step will keep the screws from interfering with any sliding action with the drawers. Now keep in mind that the L mount that will mount to the bench will need to be ever so slightly taller than the slide piece. That will allow the drawer to hang and slide without becoming stuck. Now once that's finished we're just about done. We're going to add some walnut veneer to our drawers as some drawer fronts. And once that's done, all that's left to do is to admire our good work. Fantastic work, Zach, as always. 